I was going to discuss the sale of the All-Stars and the one positive effect on Ohio. But instead, I'm going to talk safety on this edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 989. Before getting into this touchy topic, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and check out our daily exclusive content at www.sprintcarunlimited.com. On the heels of another fuel cell rupture and unfortunate on-track incident, I'm going to pound the drum on an issue that needs to keep being addressed. Why? Because there are glaring deficiencies in regard to safety, a topic that only seems important when convenient. I'm not going to pick on one series or track. This is across the board. Sprint car racing as a whole needs to do better in regard to safety. That's a given. But the problem is this sport is so disjointed, fractured, and scattered, and everyone's going their own direction to try and make money. And all I hear from people is that you can't have set standards. To me, that's an excuse, and things need to improve. So how do you accomplish this? People aren't going to like it, but an overall governing body would help. I don't want to hear about a safety council. I've heard nothing from them as of late, and I also know people who were jettisoned off that committee for being too negative, and they weren't even told they were off it. To me, it's hard to take that council seriously. So I'm back to something similar to what Australia has, but within the confines of our sport. It should include drivers, owners, promoters. Every side should be equally represented to make things happen. This group should oversee fire safety, tracks, cars, you name it. I don't care if you're the King of the West Series, High Limit, World of Outlaws, IRA, Fast Series, or a local track in the middle of a briar patch somewhere. It doesn't matter. A checklist of necessities needs to be met to hold a sprint car race. If they're not met, no race, period, end of discussion. This might sound harsh, and people who hate regulations and think that oversight is terrible will disagree. That's fine. I don't really care. They are the same people who offer prayers on social media when something happens, and then they simply move on to the next race. I'm sick of prayers when it's prayers without action. I get that accidents and injuries are going to happen, but being proactive instead of reactive might just keep them down to a minimum. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Sprint Car Limited 989, and we'll be back Monday. Stay tuned.